Hi, I'm Dr. Kenneth Tian from Ensoul Medical Clinic. I like to talk about pigmentation because 70-80% of my patients are pigmentation. I have a special interest in pigmentation and that's because I have melasma. I like to divide pigmentation into two kinds. Active, it's like a bush in a garden. Or non-active, it's like a statue in a garden. Now, a non-active pigmentation, a statue in a garden, occurs when there is an event that causes it to suddenly appear. It could be pimple marks, very, very common, the brown marks are the pimples. It could be after trauma to the skin. It could be something you're born with, a birthmark. And sometimes due to excessive sun damage, and we get, you know, like old people, they've got these brown spots on the face, a little bit raised, solar lentigo, uh, sunspots. It grows a bit bigger, and it's also solar keratosis. Now, these are what I call statues. Remove it, it doesn't come back. Now, the other kind of pigmentation I see a lot of is melasma. Now, this is what I call active. It's like a bush in the garden. You remove, it comes back. You remove, it comes back. It's a growing active pigmentation. And how does this happen? Parts of your skin produces too much pigmentation and your body removes it at a higher rate. So you get your normal skin and you get your melasma skin. Now we can lighten the pigmentation but because the overactive pigment producing cell keeps overproducing pigmentation, it comes back. It's like a bush in a garden, like weeds. Now the biggest problem with melasma is that it slowly gets darker Sometimes fast, sometimes slow, it's quite unsightly. So people want to clear that because it's visually quite distressing. 